The Serbian Air Force is considering buying Rafale fighters from France and has informed the country's president of their intentions, Serbian Defense Minister Nabajsa Stefanovic said on Tuesday. Earlier in December, Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic announced a 500 million euro, 566 million dollars increase in the country's defense budget of 1.1 billion euros by 2022 for additional equipment and weapons, modernizing the Serbian fighter jet fleet as a costly endeavor that needs to be considered strategically, according to Stefanovic. The Air Force told the president that they are currently more inclined to buy the French-made Rafale. But after we are done with a complete analysis, let's see what the army again chooses said the radio television minister from Serbia. Over the next few years, Belgrade plans to purchase four Mi-35 and three Mi-17 helicopters, as well as two new Panzer missile systems from Russia, two Casa C-295 Airbus military transport aircraft, 10 Airbus H-145 helicopters, 18 Mistral manpads, says Stefanovic. The modernized Mi-35P is equipped with the OPS-24N1L observation vision system with a third-generation long-wave matrix thermal imager, TV camera, and laser rangefinder. The helicopter is also equipped with modern third-generation night vision goggles NVG, as well as a set of external and internal lighting equipment is needed. Then there is a new digital flight control system which improves controllability and stability of the helicopter and provides automation of the test process to support pilots. MI-35P is also equipped with a modern targeting and computing system which will increase the accuracy of target engagement. The helicopter is armed with a 23mm mobile twin-barreled cannon and S-8 rockets. It can also be fitted with containers of 23mm caliber cannon, S-13 rockets, Ataka ATGM with dual-channel control system, as well as VIKHR-1 or VIKHR-1M guided missiles. The company said the Mi-35P was developed from the legendary Mi-24 family in various air combat and is now equipped with the latest Russian-made avionics, Last year we demonstrated the helicopter to a number of potential customers and today we said that this helicopter is in demand. We have launched serial production of the Mi-35P under the first contract with a foreign customer, said Director General of Russian Helicopters Andrei Beginsky. Mi-17 is a transport helicopter driven by two turbines from the manufacturer Kazan Helicopter Plant, Russia. This helicopter has dimensions of 18.5 meters long and 5.6 meters high. This series first flew in 1975. This helicopter has quite a lot of payload. The cabin crew is a crew of three, and can carry 24 soldiers, or 12 stretchers, or 4 tons of cargo internally or 5 tons externally. The Mi-17 is also used by the armed forces of 79 countries. However, the Mi-17 is not only for military operations, but he often goes down in search and rescue operations or reaches remote areas. Panzer S1M can be used as the basis for building an effective modular air defense network capable of protecting any military unit from small and attack drones, precision weapons and, of course, military aviation, airplanes and helicopters, he explained. The system fully complies with the current A2, AD, anti-access, denial of area, principles, air defense systems used to prevent the enemy from penetrating vital areas. Mikhailov continued. He said the Panzer S1M is very cost-effective in combating modern drones, the ammunition used makes it possible to fully meet the cost-efficiency ratio in attacking the target. That's not enough, the upgrade will also allow the Panzer S1M to shoot down combat drones before they even launch their munitions, says military expert Viktor Murakowski. The minister also confirmed that Serbia is negotiating pricing and maintenance details with Cyprus regarding the previously announced purchase of 11 used Mi-35 helicopters, 
Although the final decision will be made by the military, Stefanovich also welcomed Russia's recent delivery of the Cornet anti-tank missile system, which he described as a killing weapon for armored vehicles, and announced plans to install it on Serbian-made carriers. Modernizing the Serbian fighter jet fleet is a costly endeavor that needs to be considered strategically, the Air Force told the president that they are currently more inclined to buy the French-made Rafale, Dassault Aviation, a French aerospace company, has recently experienced a surge in exports to a number of countries, as the Eurasian Times previously reported that the UAE recently signed a contract with France's Dassault Aviation to purchase 80 Rafale F-4 jets, the latest variant of the 4.5-generation fighter.